Food Idioms 4 Idioms Activation Pack Free English material. Are you a Britisher yet? These lucky people are. They're all enjoying the ton of free English language learning material they got when they became a Britisher at Britlish.com. Get your free welcome pack today at Britlish.com. Wine and Dine To wine and dine someone is to treat them to an extravagant meal, often with a view to bringing them round to your way of thinking. Doctors are often wined and dined by the drug companies with a view to getting them to prescribe new medications that will be immensely profitable. I think you'll be happy to work with that company because they love to wine and dine their investors. Jam tomorrow. Something delightful which has been promised but will never be attained is referred to as jam tomorrow. The great lie of the capitalist system for most people is the promise of jam tomorrow. In a capitalist society, the majority never see the jam. Why did I resign? Because of the repeated promises of jam tomorrow while all the time having to do more work for less pay. Upset the apple cart. To upset the apple cart is to spoil carefully laid plans or to ruin a hitherto satisfactory situation. The news that the CEO had been convicted of sexual harassment against an employee really upset the apple cart. When the groom broke both his legs in a motorcycle accident the day before the wedding, he really upset the apple cart. A variant of this idiom is to overturn the apple cart. Make mincemeat of. To totally defeat someone and to punish them severely is to make mincemeat of them. I bet they wish they'd known he was a contact karate champion before they picked on him. He made meats. He made mincemeat of them. It was only a charity football match, but the opposing team made mincemeat out of us. Play gooseberry. Somebody who is in the company of a couple engaged in a romantic liaison and who wish to be alone is playing gooseberry. Come on, John, you have to come to the party, otherwise I'll be left to play gooseberry with Leslie and Simon. Hello, Roy. Hello, Trish. Fancy meeting you here. I would join you, but I don't want to play gooseberry. See you later. A gooseberry is a yellow-green berry which is rather sour and often turned into jam in the UK. Eat my hat. To demonstrate that you're absolutely certain that something will or will not happen, or is or is not true, you can use the expression, I'll eat my hat. She's always late, and if she's not late for this meeting, I'll eat my hat. I'm 100% certain that we can rely on him, and if it turns out that we can't, I'll eat my hat. The origin of this idiom lies in the fact that no one would really wish to eat their hat. Eat for breakfast. 
To eat someone or something for breakfast is to deal completely and easily with them or it. You wouldn't last one round in the ring with Tyson. He'd eat you for breakfast. I wouldn't even bother asking her for a date if I were you. She eats men like you for breakfast. Drink like a fish. Someone who drinks like a fish consumes large amounts of alcohol without regard to the consequences. I know it's probably a stereotype, but in my personal opinion, most Englishmen drink like a fish. When a Russian throws away the top of a vodka bottle, saying that it won't be needed any longer, you know you're going to have to drink like a fish. Simmer down. If, after being extremely agitated or emotional, a person calms down and becomes less excited, we say that they have simmered down. Don't go in to see the boss yet, he needs time to simmer down. The stewardess asked the man to simmer down and threatened to have him removed from the plane if he failed to do so. When the heat is reduced, a pan of boiling water begins to simmer. Till to the bitter end. If you stick with something until it's completed, however unpleasant or difficult it may be, you do so till the bitter end. There were times when I felt like giving up while writing this book, but I knew I had to stick with it until the bitter end. People may say bad things about him, but you know you can rely on him and that he'll be with you until the bitter end. This is an old nautical expression which referred to the end of a rope rather than to a bitter taste. Idioms Activator The Idioms Activator has a bank of questions about the vocabulary in this Idioms Activation Pack. Reading the vocabulary is passive learning. Making the words and idioms part of your active vocabulary requires active learning, which is why I created the Idioms Activator. Each time you do the Idioms Activator, you'll be asked a series of random questions from a large bank of questions. By actively engaging in the learning process and by receiving instant feedback on your performance, the vocabulary in this pack will quickly become part of your active vocabulary. Dictionary. There's a good chance that some of the words used in this activation pack will be new to you. To help you out, I've compiled an extensive dictionary of the vocabulary used in this activation pack. The dictionary gives you the meanings of all the words used in this activation pack. You can download the dictionary as a PDF document from the resources link at the top left of the activation pack. Vocabulary Activator In addition to the Idioms Activator, I've included a Vocabulary Activator which will test your knowledge of all of the words in the dictionary. You'll be given random definitions of words each time you do the Vocabulary Activator. This will also give you the opportunity to hear how each word is correctly pronounced in British English. Add these words to your active vocabulary and make them your own. Idiom Activation Packs These Idiom Activation Packs are designed to help you activate your English skills. I've been helping students learn, remember and use the all-important idiomatic expressions for many years and now I want to reach many more students by using the latest technology. I've designed these Idiom Activation Packs to make learning British English idioms as easy and enjoyable as possible. 
You can pay what you want for each pack, or you can get unlimited access to my growing library of activation packs with a membership subscription. Free English material. Are you a Britisher yet? These lucky people are. They're all enjoying the ton of free English language learning material they got when they became a Britisher at British.com. Get your free welcome pack today at British.com.